Good morning, everyone. Um, it's kind of early morning out here, but it was nice and quiet, and I thought it would just be a good time to um, give you a little update. Um, hope you have your coffee. I've had plenty already this morning. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to let you know is that um, I got a job. So I have been working these last few weeks and it um, is really a good thing. Not, not just because, yeah, I needed the income, I need to support myself, um, but because it keeps me busy. Um, being idle is not good for anyone. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a little physically demanding for me, but um, overall I, I do enjoy it. So that is a good thing. And then um, another good thing coming up is there's a bit of traffic this morning. I didn't think there would be, but there is. Um, my son from Texas is coming up, Jeremy. He'll be coming up September 2nd with my granddaughter Julia so I'm really excited about that I can't wait to see them and it's been a really long time since I think I shared any pictures or video or anything of the grandkids and I'm I'm hoping to get a bunch while he's here I mean, even just for my own use not just sharing it but um, yeah so I'm really looking forward to that um, As far as the cabin goes, um, yeah, I've been up there, and I'm sorry I haven't uh, taken a lot of footage while I was up there. I guess I've, I'm not, I haven't been spending as much time as I wanted to, and not as, not as many things have been getting done as I wanted, and with good reason, though. Um, it's just been too hot. It's been a very hot summer to. Um, get people up there or just to have them do the things I need done so um, a lot of it's been put off until this fall so hopefully in the next couple of months um, I can uh, get you guys some footage being up there and uh, fall is a great time to be up at the cabin anyhow because the colors can be spectacular. It's just really beautiful. And um, another thing I just wanted to mention, because of the job, um, I'm not gonna be able to do as many videos. Well, not that I've been doing a lot as of late, but um, I'll still have time. But I think I'm gonna have to work my way up um, right now I'll probably be sticking with the one a week, probably um, on Sundays, and then as time permits or circumstances change, whatever, hopefully um, I can add more. And I really appreciate all you people following me still, even though the channel has, you know, kind of taken a drastic turn from what it was. Um, it's, it's very good of you to do that, and I want you to know I appreciate it. And just personally, um, I'm doing okay. I could be doing a lot worse, I know that. Um, praying every day study scripture every single day. I just can't imagine where I would be or where someone would be if they didn't have that foundation of 
faith of God in going through something like this. Right now, that's what gets me through. And I'd be lying if I didn't say I still think of Paul pretty much every minute of the day. I still feel as, I don't know, it's, uh, I mean, I know everything's real, but it's still like, I feel disbelief maybe that this is where I am and he's not here. Um, some days are much harder than others. And those days uh, I just don't know how to get through. And it just seems like it's too much to do. But that's when I hear a small voice say, will you bear it for me? And I just think, yes, Lord, for you I will. And so that's where I'm at. It's still day by day. Still trying to figure out how to live without him. I know some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your widows and widowers and that word still just blows my mind. And I still describe myself as Paul's wife. When people ask me if I'm married, I say yes. And I can't really think of the future right now. Like I said, just one day at a time. Um, Paul's aunt lost her husband in a very tragic way shortly before I met Paul. And um, at his funeral, she said to me, You never get over it. You just get used to it. Might be a while before I get used to it. But, um, anyhow, that is my update for now. Um, Overall, things are going okay. And like I said, I am very happy to have that job. I'm looking forward to Jeremy coming up and Julia and I think it'll be a good time. We'll probably have some sort of cookout, barbecue, whatever. Invite um, as many of the kids to come over as they can. That'd be nice. And hopefully I'll get some footage of all the grandkids. Well, maybe not all of them. I don't think three of them I may not be able to get anything of but hopefully soon and um, yeah so um, I'll try to give you guys an update at least once a month maybe you know especially maybe more often if something else is going on but um, thanks again for sticking with me and for watching and for all your kind words I don't always respond to all the comments. Sometimes there's a lot of them, but know that I do read them. I read all of them, so I do appreciate it. Anyhow, uh, I'll be talking to you soon, and you take care. And one other bit of news that is really good news is we had a third grandson born. Little Harrison was born on August 6th and he is a real cutie. Just very happy that he's doing great. 
and so is his mom. The whole family's very happy to have him here.